Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Aldine and today I'm going to discuss how eating the right food can improve your mental health. Do you want to learn how to eat your way to better mental health? Well, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know the right foods to eat and the ones to avoid to improve your mental health. Now, I've suffered from borderline personality disorder and anxiety for most of my life. And the information I'm going to share with you right now has helped me tremendously in improving my mental health. Now, when I first got diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, I decided that I was going to do research to find the most effective methods to tackle this illness head on. Being a person that prefers natural healing methods, I do, began to do research primarily in to natural treatment options. It was during this research that I found out that what we eat has a direct effect on our emotions and our cognition. That some of the foods we eat are far better than others for our mental health. In fact, some of the foods we consume can even lead to some of the mental symptoms that we may suffer from. Have you ever noticed that when you eat certain foods, your brain seems to function better, you think clearer, and your, your brain just clicks? While when you eat other foods, you feel lethargic, your thoughts become foggy, and you just feel out of it? This is no mere coincidence. What you eat or consume has a huge effect on your mental health. Our food can be categorized into three main categories. Whole foods, processed foods, and ultra-processed foods. For optimal mental health, we should aim to consume primarily whole foods interspersed with some processed foods and avoid ultra-processed foods as much as possible. So what are whole foods? Whole foods are foods that are just like they, they came from nature. So fish and meat and poultry from your butcher, fruits from fresh from the tree, vegetables, seeds. These are all forms of whole foods. Processed foods are foods that are minimally processed to maintain longevity of your food, such as frozen fruits, bread, flour, rice, etc. And now, ultra-processed foods are those that are heavily manipulated uh, with a lot of additives, man-made ingredients, and these are most of our, well, all basically all fast foods, soda, fries, cookies, chips, you know, you know the foods that aren't good for you. Those are the ultra-processed foods, and you know them easily because they have some, some ingredients that you can't even pronounce. You'll have to Google them to find out what the, they are. Any things like those, we are our enemies. We need to avoid them as much as possible. Now, the brain is the organ that utilizes the most nutrition in our body. So the higher the nutrition content of the food we consume, the better it is for our mental health. Now I'm going to go over some of the nutrients we get from our food that are beneficial to our mental health and some of the sources you can get these nutrients from. In other, in other words, the types of food you can consume to get these essential nutrients. The first nutrient I want to discuss is vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is respons responsible for making the hormone serotonin and acts similarly to that of an uh, antidepressant. Now, serotonin is the key hormone that stabilizes our mood, feelings of well-being, and happiness. This hormone impacts our entire body. It enables brain cells and other nervous system cells to communicate with each other, and serotonin also helps with sleeping, eating, and digestion. Some great food sources for vitamin D are egg yolks and oily fish such as salmon, sardines, and mackerel. 
The next important nutrient for mental health is omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-3 has an incredible impact on the brain, especially when it comes to mild memory loss and depression. The omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, are critical for normal brain function and development throughout all stages of life. Some good sources of omega-3 are cold water fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, sardines, nuts and seeds such as flax seed, chia seeds, and walnuts, and plant oils such as flaxseed oil, soybean oil, and canola oil. Next up is magnesium. Now, low levels of magnesium have been linked to anxiety, higher levels of, levels of stress, insomnia, depression, headaches, and fatigue. Some great sources of magnesium are leafy green vegetables, beans, nuts, and whole grains. The next important nutrient on the list is zinc. Now, zinc deficiency has been linked to several mental illnesses, including depression, increased anxiety, irritability, emotional instability, and induced deficits in social behavior. Now, some good sources of zinc, and the best is actually oyster. It's, it's very high in zinc. And some other seafoods such as lobster and crab, red meat, poultry, beans, and nuts whole grain as well as dairy products are good sources of zinc. Now last but definitely not least are the B vitamins. Vitamin B deficiency can negatively influence your memory function and cause cognitive impairment and dementia. So I'm going to go over four of the B vitamins individually and the first one I want to speak to is B, vitamin B12. Now, vitamin B12 is a key component in the formation of red blood cells. Its deficiency can lead to an oxygen transport problem in the blood known as pernicious anemia. Now, this disorder may cause issues like mood swings, paranoia, irritability, confusion, dementia, and hallucinations or mania. So, some food sources for B12 are animal products such as fish, lean meat, poultry, eggs, etc. The next v B vitamin on the list is folate. Now, low levels of folate have been linked to depression and incorporating folate into diets has shown as a promising treatment for depression, especially in women. It also has been promising for mild cognitive impairment. Now, great sources of folate are green leafy vegetables such as spinach, kale, mustard greens, and collard greens. Next up is thiamine or vitamin B1. Now, mental health problems such as memory loss, anxiety, depression, irritability, and insomnia are associated with deficiencies in vitamin B1. The brain uses this vitamin to help convert glucose or blood sugar into energy. This means that without it, the brain may not have enough energy to function normally. Some good food sources of vitamin B1 are pork, fish, beans, lentils, and green peas. Finally, I want to discuss vitamin B6, and this may arguably be the most important B vitamin there is for mental health and brain health in general because it is critical for making neurotransmitters and can help minimize the harmful effects of stress. So some, some sources of B6 are poultry, fish, vegetables like potatoes, and fruits. Now apart from eating these healthy foods, it is also important to supplement because many of us have issues with our guts, which makes it harder for us to absorb the nutrients. So supplementation makes it more bioavailable to us and is beneficial. Right now, I'm personally taking several supplements. I'm taking omega-3 
three fatty acids in the form of fish oil capsules, uh, ZMA, which is a combination of zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6, vitamin B complex, and also vitamin D3. Since I've started utilizing this diet and also implementing supplements into my diet, I've seen a dramatic change in my mental health. I am now much calmer, more patient, less irritable. I get triggered far less. I have seen such great improvements in my emotions and cognitive ability. I am proof in the pudding. And I want you to see the benefits that I have seen. So why not try incorporating this diet, these foods and these supplements into your regime? Try it for one week. Please, I'm asking you, please try it for one week. You will be amazed at the difference it's going to make in your life. In fact, when you try it, I want you to comment down below and tell me how you feel. Tell me what changes occur after starting this diet. And that's what I really wanted to share with you today. I, I have plans to go further in depth into all of these vitamins and minerals individually in separate videos in the future. So if you want to learn more about these foods and supplements that can be beneficial to your mental health and well-being, please subscribe. And if you got any value out of the video today, hit that like button. I'd be truly grateful and it would help to help other people to see this video and help others. So there you have it. Thank you for tuning in today and checking out my video. I appreciate your support. I love you all and I look forward to doing videos for you in the future. Take care and have a blessed day.